Hi everyone, my name is Glenford and I'm an educator here at OMSI. Today I'm in our chemistry lab to talk to you a little bit about soap. This is a soap molecule. Soap molecules are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms in a particular configuration. This is important because this long strand is very similar to what fats and oils look like, while this uh, oxygen end is very similar to water molecules. Another way to think about it is if this is the soap molecule and these are the fat molecules, these can stick together so that the soap then attaches to the fat and then the water molecules come in and can attach to this end of the soap. In other words, it becomes a bridge between something that has fats or oils and water. Experiment time. Many people might have said that oil and water don't mix. Let's see what happens. I have here an Erlenmeyer flask that I'm going to pour some water into. And to that, I'm gonna add some oil. Give it a stir, and as you can see, they'll separate and will not mix. So in order to show what happens with soap, we're gonna add a little bit into our flask and give it a swirl. It doesn't immediately mix the oil and the water, but if I keep swirling for some time, those soap molecules will bridge between the water and the fat to create a complete mixture. This is why it's so important to take your time when you wash your hands. This mixture of oil, water, and soap doesn't happen instantaneously. It takes some time for it to break up the oil. Now, this connects to bacteria and viruses because bacteria and viruses have a layer of fats around the outside of them. This scientific observation is why the CDC is recommending that all people wash their hands for at least 20 seconds. Pick your favorite song, I prefer Chumbawamba, and sing it to yourself while washing your hands and wash them often. This experiment with oil, water, and soap is great to try at home. Uh, ask an adult to try it out with you. Uh, make sure to wash your hands before and after 20 seconds each.